Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Uh, today's video, um, Skella got, got a nerf. Um, I don't really think it was a nerf. Um, you could still play second wind. You just shuffle around some provisions and the deck's pretty much the same. Um, I just wanted to give Bran a try, see how he functions with the same package of cards. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with Skellige, but it's. I think they just need to bring the other cards up. I think if every deck played like that Skellige deck, it'd be super exciting because the way it is right now, like Skellige's bronzes are just just pounding people. And then you look at, like, Scoia'tael and... They drop two twos and that's it. Like, it's so slow, it's so uneventful that it just it just feels bad. And then uh, Syndicate, I think you just play um, Passiflora like you did before. You play the greediest Passiflora you can. That's really the only way I think you win. But um, uh, Scoia'tael, I think they're getting punished for being good for so long. And... Uh, it feels super bad, but I don't know. But uh, today's some uh, uh, mobile gameplay. Just a quick game with uh, Bran and the uh, Skellige package. Um, we'll try to get some other stuff out later this week. I'm going to try. But uh, thank you guys for everything. I'll see you at the end. I end up getting Nilfgaard. Lambert fan. <laughs> And uh, the, I think the problem with Skellige is just the bronzes are better than most of your epic golds. <laughs> I think Saber said that too. It's just, you know, why would you... You don't really feel bad if you draw into one of these bronze cards because they're almost just as good as your epics. So we mulligan the the shield smith guy. And Nilfgaard is the hard counter. I mean, you can they they can they can handle you, no problem. They have to get last say. Not really, but it, it helps out a lot. But they just know that if they have something huge and you got Morkvarg and, you know, uh, great sword, you're just going to win. And so we just stunning blow it. And this animation for Bran is so sweet for Master Mirror. So I don't understand why he played a Diviner here. I'm like, you know, what if I have a Defender, super slow, eight points. So we get our spiny guy out. He could yoink it. That's the only danger of this card. Or he could just grab his own. So we understand why he played the Diviner now, but we just drop a great sword, hope for the double ping, and then how does he deal with it? Invocation, I guess. We didn't get the double ping, so if he does have assassination, it's toast. It gets locked, but it's no big deal. Like, we don't care. We have 10 points in hand at any time. Having the Freya kind of hurts, but... 
I just killed this. I figured later on it really wouldn't do much, so... It stinks at abilities like Bran and Meave and, you know, these timer abilities just don't work out very well. If you're just going to play second win, you probably just cut Hammond. And he passed here. I'm like, okay. Apparently his hand's on fire. <laughs> I'm still going to bleed. Even though I have last say. I want to get some good stuff out of him. I was afraid to. Maybe he's a skeleton friend. If he's a ball friend, we want to get that out of him, too. We got to be careful because of the bricks um, with Ermion. So we just lead off with one of the sixes. It's fine. Shame we didn't get any of the spoon chicks. They're pretty good. So this only played for four. So that so far is work. Or yeah, it's working out for us pretty good. Playing around the uh, the mage that does three damage. Some people are even playing treason. So one thing that's good about this is like when you play brand people automatically assume that you're playing Wild Boar of the Sea so they buff everything up. So he goes Vincent. I figured this is where I pass or where I jump out though. We got Vincent out of him. His other cards aren't going to stack up to mine. I'd like to have that last say. I already have the res. I think he just plays a lock, which I don't think is a good idea. So right now, Ermion's bricked. We got to get rid of that. And I figured this is a good keep. The rest of these, I mean, it'd be nice to have Blood Eagle or Ermion, but... Oh, I did get rid of it, yeah. We made it a little bit worse, but... Skull never lives. So he buffed the, buffs the Enforcer up only to 6. So we can kill it. What stinks though is it sets our leader back a little bit. I 
And he was a ball friend, so... But we got a good target for our leader. He can't really do anything with this. You still use your leader. It's on a timer, so you want to get it out as quick as possible. He plays his usurper. And this is kind of a jabate here, like... I mean, we're going to flip it. He gets a six. You know, he's going to get the kill a six, but he wastes a poison, you know. And we're not giving him anything tall to interact with. So we flipped the button. Wasted poison. We're happy with it. You can see he's pulling away here. I mean, he's playing Brathens. But he's buffing stuff up. He's afraid of this wild boar. So we're still down a decent amount. We get out our arrow to the back friend here. I thought I was going to lose this game because of connection loss. I was in a bad area. That's the only bad thing about playing on mobile. If you're in a bad spot, man, it stinks to lose like that. So we're down by 18. He keeps buffing up. We're okay with it. So we know he's got coup de gras now because he's playing Joaquin. He gets the poison to six. So he's up 40 points. 40. We move Brathens back. I think next we play uh, Harold. And I want to say we bring back... Uh, The other damage, dude. Fergus is scary, man. This card is scary. If you got spies on the board, or enforcers, 2871. We got our ping for the leader. Yeah, we play our Herald. The doom doesn't even matter on this nerf. Like you're, you're almost always playing it in round three anyway. Oh yeah, we have the the sevens. So it plays for fourteen, pretty good. And it's a veiled unit, so you can't poison it. So the way it's looking now, we're going to play Trig V on whatever he plays here. I want to say it's a spy. So if he doesn't have an answer for this, this card basically plays for 
negative 16 points. played so hard into Igni right here. I was like, oh, why'd I play that there? <laughs> I know he has Devotion, though, so that's the good thing about Devotion. Closing in the gap. He kills the Spy. I forget what his last card is. Oh, Roderick. Oh, into Invo. So we didn't bite. We just res our great sword. They're too good. They're just great swords are just too good. Um, I just wanted to give Brand a try. Um, you know, like always, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Um, we'll try to get some more stuff out later this week, but, um, I just appreciate you guys, man. I, you know, I apologize if I haven't been putting out like Scoyatel or Syndicate. I just don't think it's viable and I don't want to lead people in the wrong direction or mislead them with a clickbait title because <laughs> they're just not good. Uh, but, uh, like always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If he repays, and he will come for you. All to reclaim, no smile to console you. He'll snare you in bonds, eyes glowing.